Welcome back to Indie Watch Wednesday. Checking out Closure today. It's on the Humble Indie Bundle number 7, so be sure to check that out. It won't be up for very much longer. Let's try a new game. This one's completely blind. Never played it before. Never even really heard of it. Oh, actually, I have heard of it. I did not realize it was this game. So, essentially, anything that's outside of this light orb that I'm carrying does not exist. So if I drop this, walk over, I'd fall off because there's no ground anymore. And that means death. Death. So it's a little puzzle game. Sort of a platformer, I suppose, but not really since there's not really any jumping involved. So that also means that there's not really any... Oh, there's jumping. So yes, it could be called a platformer. This is the exit. That's the goal of the level. Next level. Grab the orb. Walk on over. And nearly fall to your death. Guess this. Oh, that is really cool ambience. Ambiance. So, if I... Oh. Well, that's interesting. So I guess if you put it on one of those little pedestals... It warps it over to another little pedestal. So you can get across. Across. There he is that way. Oh! Oh, so you want for this little wall here to no longer exist. You want that to stay dark. So you put it there. You can't see the wall. So... It doesn't exist. Can I pick it back up? I sure can. I'm already doing the credits. And it's cool. It's cool. This is great. I like this. So we got two orbs. I don't yet know what that means. Oh, I need to place them so that so that I can get through this doorway. Yep. And there we go. Ta-da! Moving on. I already love this game. Let me let me turn up the music so you can hear this because it's really cool. Oh, I have to go in the options menu. Oh, how horribly unprofessional. Awesome as that. Okay, grab that. Put it in here. Oh, oh it almost left me behind. Oh. <laughs> Homemade elevator. Keep almost killing myself. Excellent. Very well done. Jump on over. Oh, I don't know about this. I'm gonna try and jump across. Oh, it's just water. It's just water. Can I... Can I leave? I can leave. Good. That water sort of made me uncomfortable. Oh! Oops. Okay, so... This up. Move it on over. Rock it on over! I don't really know what this orb is going to be for, but I figure I better take it with me. Oh, that's what it's for. And dude starts like screaming and crying when you fail to let you know that you have done something a little wrong. So, push this over. Drop this, go grab this one. Push it over some more. Drop this, go grab this one. Push it over, jump. Jump. It's a little, a little tedious. No, I guess you didn't. You didn't need both orbs. It was overachieving. Down. 
sink over. I do wonder if you can drown. So far it doesn't seem like you can drown. Oh, they're just teaching you how water, wor water works. How water works, water works. Water, water, water works. Okay, this one we need a key, obviously, if video games have taught us anything about anything. Oops. Hmm. I wonder if you want to fall. Oh, let's try this. Got the key. Uh oh. I'm trying to get the key here. Wait for it to come down. Jump on up. And ta da! You've done it. Well done, you. You creepy little four legged, two armed demon y thing. Okay, so I can. Oh, I can control this. Okay, well, let me look around, see where I'm supposed to go. I don't think there's any real significance to these upper doohickeys. I don't think I could, like, traverse any of that or anything, so... First things first, let's light this path. Make sure that's plenty lit. Now. That is enough light to pull that off, I think. And that has enough light now, light now to make my path back safe. And just to be sure, to be absolutely certain that I can make it across this, let's do that. surprisingly easy. Now, I'm not sure if you can really fully grasp from what you have seen what the later puzzles could entail, but they get pretty freaking complicated. Let's just say they get pretty freaking complicated. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. An awful lot of them. What is that, 72? 72. I'm impressed. I never have good maths. Let's just go right to the last one and do the very first puzzle. And then I'll call it good. Because you've seen the mechanics, you've seen how cool the ambience is. Okay, so what is this creepy face? Apart from, you know, Creepy. I'm a little girl now. Is that right? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So, have the mechanic changed at all? I'm not sure. Grab this. Is that a toilet? <laughs> There's the toilet. Oh dear. Okay. So I'm supposed to jump to the little ball of light for that section. Fair uh, enough. Oh, I didn't just want to drop it. I don't know. Jump! Okay, now it's probably going to come back up. Here it is. Grab it. Grab it. Thank you. Now, Cat has dropped one on the other side, so I need to make it so that this door essentially doesn't exist. There we go. Fire hydrant. Oh, now I'm not looking for a door so much as I'm exploring. Maybe I'm looking for a door too, but... Oh, this is cool. Chase the cat. Chase the kitty. Chase the kitty. Little girl logic. Ugh. I don't like that creepy tent. Hmm, there's the door. 
Oh, creepy clown. What is with this? Skull faces. Some sort of raised walk platform. Okay, okay, one more. Just because I'm really actually enjoying this. So. Okay, there's the door. Hmm, so let me just light up right here. Grab this. Oh, that's not gonna help at all. Yeah, it does. It helps because it... Don't! This is the first time I've been sort of stumped at this point. That's frustrating. Okay. I need to point this a little bit further downward. Now, jump over. Dang it! Even further downward than that. These lights are borderline useless. Good, good, good. No, oh, but if I move it, then I, the floor will disappear. Let's look around the room a little bit more. Oh, there's platforms up there. Maybe that's the ticket. trying to use the same old tricks, but you gotta think outside the box. Okay. Well, now, I think I need that strobe light looking down. Just once I get up here, I've got this, and that's fine. So, I need to be able to see down there. I think I gotta figure it out, guys. I think I've got it. So now I just ditch this, fall on down. Ta-da! What an awesome premise for Buzzle. All right, that's it, guys. You have seen all that you need to see to know whether or not you're interested in this game. I think it's beautiful. The black and white aesthetic works perfectly, and the music is creepy, and that's exactly what you want in one of these type of things. And it even seems like maybe, maybe there's some kind of plot behind all of this, which I really hope so. This has been 80 Proof Gaming. Please, go buy the Humble Indie Bundle. It, you know, pay the $7.50 or whatever it happens to be on at the time, and you get so many good games. And you help out charity. This has been 80 Proof Gaming. See you next time.